welcome to Daily News. Today we are having a special over the space race. Before the space race began, the world had just escaped World War II, but America and the Soviet Union were still butting heads. The two superpowers started the Cold War. This war was over a diplomatic hostility that developed between the two countries. There was no bloodshed, but people still held their breath. With the Cold War came idea of brickmanship, or the willingness to go to the brick of war. Brickmanship required both the U.S. and the Soviet Union to produce an excessive amount of nuclear weapons, so one side would not gain the edge over the other. The threat of the world's first nuclear war and mass destruction was in the air before the space race. That's what was going on before the space race, but now let's get to what happened with the space race and the significance of it. Beginning in the late 1950s, the United States and the Soviet Union both began to develop technology that could be used to explore and control space. A competition between the superpowers soon began. Once the Soviet Union launched the first successful artificial space satellite, Sputnik, it sparked the competition of many other firsts. The Soviet Union had the first human orbit space, and the United States answered with putting the first man on the moon. The United States and Soviet Union both fired space stations and shuttles into space and developed unmanned and manned space programs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Go for main engine start. Main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. The heavy emphasis on science and technology caused the development of products that improve the way of life for humans around the globe. For example, to find suitable landing ground for the first man on the moon, technology was needed that could photograph the moon's surface. With the technology that was created, scientists developed CAT and MRI technologies that are used in hospitals worldwide. Astronauts needed to use power tools in space, but the cords restricted them. To get rid of the restrictions, cordless power tools were developed. Cordless power tools are used everywhere. They are extremely versatile and beneficial to society. Also, NASA developed a scratch-resistant coating that is used in most eyeglasses people wear today. Artificial satellites launched into orbit around Earth aided worldwide communications. With the satellite communication, the world gradually became connected. Although the race was competitive, it also brought global cooperation. Space exploration became one of the world's first and most successful fields for cooperation between the U.S. and Soviet scientists. The two countries in 1972 signed an agreement to work together toward docking Apollo and Soviet spacecraft in space. Also in the 1970s and 1980s, people from different countries worked together to explore space. The Soviets were the first to send an international crew into space. They invited Czech astronaut Vladimir Remek to orbit Earth with them. The United States invited people from Saudi Arabia, France, Germany, and Mexico to fly on their space shuttle. Now let's focus on how history changed and went into a new direction. When the Soviets developed the ICMB, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, it made it possible to launch satellites and long-range missiles, changing the way humans fight wars and see space. The fields of science, mathematics, and foreign language all started getting large amounts of funding due to the competition between the United States and Soviet Union to conquer space. The world of technology pivoted into a new and better direction due to the breakthrough of launching satellites. Satellite TV, laptops, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, pacemakers, and the internet were all created. Finally, let us evaluate the significance and see what the alternatives would have been. The United States and the Soviet Union both agreed to space as a war-free zone, and the two countries' scientists developed an international space station together. The space race helped decrease the hostility between the two countries and made them realize that they would not only have to coexist in space, but also back on Earth. Ultimately, the space race gave the Americans and Soviet Union something else to focus on other than the nuclear weapons. Mass destruction may have happened without the race. Also, without the race, some technological advantages that benefit all mankind may have never happened. The world would have been a total different place if the space race never happened. That wraps up today's broadcast of the space race. Goodbye and have a nice day from everyone at Daily News.